Number 31. What is the direction of the magnetic force on the current in each of the six cases in figure 22.53? All right, so this is actually just another application of right-hand rule number one. Check out uh, video number one of this chapter for a detailed analysis of how to apply right-hand rule number one. This is just basically more of the same. Instead of though the velocity, uh, instead of your thumb, I should say, representing the velocity, your thumb will now represent the current. But that should kind of make sense because current represents moving charge, right? So it's kind of like velocity anyway. So in any case, um, the answers that we should get here should be identical to number one. So we're just going to run through it, okay? Because it's basically the same thing. So what you're going to do for letter A over here is you're going to take your thumb, make sure you have your hand in a rigid position just like this, where your thumb is at a 90 degree angle to your fingers, your four fingers that is, okay? And don't break that. Keep it rigid. So now what you have to do is you have to take your thumb and point it downwards. With your thumb then pointing downwards in this rigid kind of sh handshake position, so to speak, uh, you then have to take your fingers and point them to your face. Uh, because your fingers represent the magnetic field, and it says the magnetic field here is pointing out of the page. That's what those little dots represent. And when you do that, when you adjust your hand in that fashion, you realize that now your palm, which will represent the force on this current, will be pointing to the left. Okay, so that is now the direction of the force. Left. For letter B, similar. Work with your thumb first. Point the thumb up. Right? And if your thumb is up now, keeping, keeping your thumb up, make sure you point your four fingers now to the right. When you do that, keeping your hand in this kind of rigid shake position with your fingers at a 90 degree angle relative to your thumb, your palm should now be facing the computer screen. Okay, And what that means now is that the force on this current is going to be pointing into the page. And we represent into the page with a little X. All right, So that's into page or away from you. It doesn't matter how you say it. It's all the same thing. Now, point your thumb to the right. Okay, With your thumb pointing to the right, you have to then point your fingers now into the page because your fingers represent the magnetic field. Now, this should look like you're asking for money in letter C, right? So your palm is kind of facing upwards. So that's the direction of the force. And it, we would just write up. Similarly with letter D, right, we talked about this in number one, there's no force, okay? No force. Take a look at number one of the chapter to identify why. Uh, letter E here, we have the thumb now pointing into the computer screen. So take your thumb, point it towards the computer, and then you have to take your hands now and point them, excuse me, your fingers, your four fingers, and now point them up to the ceiling, okay, to represent the magnetic field. And if you're in that position, your palm now should be pointing to the right. All right, to the right, meaning the force is now on that current. It's going to be to the right. All right. And then letter F now, your thumb here will come be coming out of the screen. So almost pretend like you're trying to poke yourself in the eye with your thumb. Your then forefinger should be now pointing to the left. So this should almost look like pretend you're outside on a sunny day, right? And you're trying to see, but you can't. So you're trying to shade right? Your eyes, that's what your hand should look like right now. All right. And uh, if that's the case, then your palm would be pointing downwards. And that is then the answer there. Okay. The force is pointing then on that current down. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. If it did, help us out. Subscribe, like, tell your friends. We'll see you soon. Take care.